Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have toured a fair few Paleo houses so far since the game's release, but I haven't actually done an official tour of what my house looks like. You may have seen bits of it on stream or on a speed build, but today I'm going to do a dedicated update tour. This is still very much a work in progress. I'm by no means happy with it and there is a room definitely that needs work but I'm going to show you what I've done so far so hopefully this will give you a bit of inspiration for when it comes to decorating your own paleo home. So the first thing that I wanted to show you before we get into all the fun stuff is the layout of my home. I have maxed out, I've hit the building limit so I can't actually put down any more buildings or extensions. As you can see, it's not a huge plot um, and that's mainly because I have filled it out with hallways. <laughs> I actually have four hallways. Whereas looking back at it now, it does seem a bit excessive. So maybe in time I'll switch those out so that I can get some bigger rooms in here. But I'm quite happy with the size. It doesn't feel too big and it kind of does flow in the house, which you'll see in a minute. I also have a porch and a fireplace, which you can see and the gazebo there that is a relatively new addition which I haven't got around to decorating yet but I'm very excited for when I do but yeah this is a great kind of mid-size layout and I'm quite happy with it if you wanted some inspiration then I definitely recommend giving this a go and you can also kind of see what my entrance looks like from above as well um which is kind of cool I've never looked at it like that before so now that I know <laughs> that's what it looks like it looks very round and this is kind of the whole overview you can see my farm and my port which is a dedicated port station for any visitors of course but let's get into looking around the exterior and then we'll head inside as well okay so here is my entrance as you can see there is quite a lot going on here there's a lot of purple I really did not intend for it to be so bright and kind of colorful but that's just the way the kind of cookie crumbled I guess <laughs> I don't know why the cookie's crumbling um but yeah this is the entrance it's very kind of like it feels almost very elegant but I do love the fact that I've got like the fountain here there's a lot of trees and flowers that's just very me in absence of path I kind of mixed it up between the rugs and the ravenwood stuff which I kind of love there is obviously some benches there's some makeshift stuff here as well um I'm not mad at it I just I feel like there's um I need to do a lot more around it because it's just kind of there at the moment but without kind of bushes and flowers and things it's hard for me to have the kind of desire to decorate outside I'm definitely feeling more interior at the moment but this is what it looks like it took ages and making sure it's symmetrical is very hard um I'm aware that there's a rug missing here but I need to find it at the night market and that's harder than it looks and then there is kind of these gateways out of here either side and there's not much on the left hand side so we'll just go this way but once I have like paths and work more on the entrance then I think it will kind of fit together a bit more hopefully fingers crossed there is just some random items strewn here and um, the koi pond I bought recently um, I love it I do wish it was a little bit bigger but that's it is what it is if you wait here for long enough the koi's kind of jump out <laughs> so that's kind of cute as well my gazebo is on my to decorate list and then over here is kind of my farm slash crafting area but we do have my porch you'll have to excuse the fact that everything's upside down I did forget that I need to correct that but that was a glitch with the last update but everything here is kind of like rustic I thought it would be nice to have just somewhere where you could sit um, just maybe enjoy some of the sun after a hard day's work on your farm um, yeah it just I wanted it to be cottagecore very rustic and I think that kind of works I will I do want to do more to it like put some trees and foliage and stuff around and then we just have some trees dotted down over here there's windmills some washing this stuff isn't the fun stuff but I kind of feel like I have to show it to you just so you know what it looks like so if we come back around this way, I'm gonna head indoors and we shall have a look and see what the interiors are like. So as I said, I haven't worked too much on the direct entrance to the home, but inside I have done a bit of work. So this is what my cozy living room looks like. 
For the living room, I decided to go for like an autumnal feel. So all of the colors are kind of reds and orange. It's that kind of year, which just makes me want to use all of these cozy, cozy colors. Um, I have a bit of a gallery wall up here, which I kind of love. I wasn't sure what to do for the back wall, but I think this kind of works and it helps the wood kind of pop against the color um, of the, the wall. Um, there is a little corner over here, which does need some more work. I need to fill out the bookshelf a bit more, but we need more clutter items and yeah, we just need more clutter items. Um, I also did get the Ziki stand thing the other day. Look at him, look how cute he is with his little arm just slowly going up and down. I got so lucky with that, that never happens to me. I'm I'm sorry if I've made people jealous, but I do, I love that item, it's so cute. And it looks perfect just stood there on the wall. And then over here, we just have a, a little wardrobe, a little stand, again, I think, probably needs a bit more work just like the minor details especially this needs some more work I think as well and then we have a little bit of a corner over here just some items some bugs a little seating area maybe and then over here we just have another little corner um the chappers are cute I just wanted to have them to make you feel just a little bit more cozier and then through here is kind of another lounge slash crafting area Yes, I do have a giant sawmill in my house. I just thought, why not? Let's put it in here. I mean, who doesn't want to sit and listen to the relaxing noises of the saw machine? <laughs> um, yeah, I know it's probably not very relaxing. But we do have a seating area here. Just to fill out the area, because I was like, there's a giant empty space here. So um, we had to fill that out. And then I do have a little desk as well and there is my looms in here as well because i wanted to have like a little sewing corner and it just looks nice i like the loom item i think it's a cute item so i wanted to incorporate it and then we have another seating area over here which i mean i don't know if many people it would get much use in reality but maybe i can put like those of you that misbehave in streams over here or something <laughs> i don't know and then this is the hallway, the first of the four hallways. And this is the build that I did for the build collab. This was for Ashura, it was Ashura inspired, hence all of the kind of foliage, the forageable items and the wood. I will try and remember to link that video in the description below because a whole bunch of other creators took part and it will be nice for you to see what they did as well. Um, because they were each inspired by a different character, so it'll be nice to get some inspiration maybe if you want that. So yeah, that is this room. Again, this has kind of got that autumnal colour palette to it, which wasn't kind of intentional, but I still really like it. This room is probably my favourite room. This is kind of, I call it my flower slash garden room, and this is all kind of green and brown inspired, and I really do love I love the way it looks. I do feel like I want to add more flowers <laughs> to it, which sometimes maybe someone needs to tell me to stop, but I do still really, really like it. I like the way that it's kind of, it does feel very floral. I like this bit in the middle here with like the plants where you could literally just potter around, plant some seeds, do whatever you need to do that's garden related. I'm not really a gardener, I just love flowers. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's the way out if you wanted to get out easily. We have a sink over here. And then I've incorporated my crafting area over here, which so I've got the customization table in the little alcove here with the green walls and just some items in there just to make it feel a little bit more put together and my DIY table is here as well. I just, I feel like this is kind of feels like a shed so it's nice to have these items in here because you would find them in a shed, right? So yeah, there we go. And then if we head back through this way, this is a small room just for reference because it is, it is very tight and cozy in here. But this is my dining room as you can see, we have a banquet laid out for all of the guests. I wanted to keep this very rustic, so I've got a mismatch of chairs. We've got loads of items on the side. Um, it is it is a bit of a tight squeeze, so you'll have to breathe in when you're getting around here. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got items all on the walls, all on the bookcases. I really wanted to fill it out. And I mean, I don't think there's physically any more space that could be filled out. But yeah, um, 
I just like the way that it looks. It's definitely like a cottagecore inspiration for this. If you wanted to do something similar to this, maybe do it in a bigger room and you'd have more space and it wouldn't feel so cluttered. But I think it's a great build idea to have like a nice cozy kind of dinner area ready for lots and lots of visitors. Yeah, definitely. And then we're not gonna talk about this room, but this is kind of like an Instagram versus a reality moment because this is my kitchen. I did a nice kitchen, I posted a picture on Twitter and then I destroyed my kitchen and I haven't got back round to kind of readdressing it. So at some point, maybe I will do another kitchen, but this is what's left of the kitchen. <laughs> It's been destroyed. Um, it still kind of works, but yeah, it's not great at the moment. So we will we will quickly skip past that. Um, and then we're gonna need to head over this away because we haven't got this far. This is kind of a new room, the one that we're approaching. Um, I feel like it does still need a bit of work, but um, we were on stream and I was like, I don't know what to do with this room. So um, people suggested doing like oh, an insect room, a witchy room, like there was like potions mentioned. So I decided to kind of combine all that. So we have witchy potion insect kind of room with plants because why not so this is what happened i decided to go with a purple color palette because i was like that just seems fun have a bit of color in there and this is what kind of happened so in the center here we have the kind of witchy potiony where the magic happens basically um and we have a sink over the other side and all of these ingredients we've got the recipe book i don't know if, i guess potions have recipe books right <laughs> and then there's like plants and bugs and things um i really hope that the bugs won't be used in the potions no bugs or fish were harmed in the making of this i promise um but yeah this is kind of how that looks so we have the center area and then we've got some things over in the corner just basically more potions more jars and then i really wanted to incorporate this sink because again this was another item that i was very very lucky to receive from a lucky box and i just wanted to incorporate it so we did that and then everyone i feel like i've seen quite a few people putting plants in baths so i was like hey i want to get on this wagon i'm gonna put some plants in a bath so that's what we've got going on over here and then another little bookcase over here which again need to fill out these bookshelves but we need more books we need a book to put on the shelves and then this is another hallway and this was the first hallway that I ever did in the game. And now that I've decorated this room, I'm kind of like, do I have to change it up? I don't know. But yeah, I did post a picture of this on Twitter and I've since added in the chappers because they're cute, they're cozy, they got their own little house now. So they can sit in there very comfortably. Um, but yeah, I do feel like maybe I need to change that. Perhaps, we'll see. And then through here, this is one of the rooms that I did do for a speed build. If you want to know how I did it, then you can go watch the video. But this one is a very relaxing room. I wanted to use all of the dragon tide furniture because I really love that furniture. And blue doesn't normally really speak to me, but it did for this room, which is, is very odd. Um, but yeah, we have a makeup area. We have some bedding some bedding <laughs> we have a bed area i guess that's what you would call it and then we have the dressing room over here which is nicely i really to be honest i think the whole reason why i wanted to do this room was because of this divider it's just so cute um and it worked nicely and then this is the final hallway that i've done this is the bathroom the kind of ensuite to this bedroom and i wanted to use the bath and i've just noticed the bath has kind of glitched a little bit so maybe i do need to move that slightly but i squeeze some items in some plants in there just to make it feel a little bit more relaxing but yeah i i feel like maybe i need to get some more wall stuff on here um i think when i did it i was very very low i said that i wasn't really a big fan of blue but apparently i am because i've also done a blue bathroom so this is another small room and i didn't know what to do here but i just felt like it kind of flowed so having a bathroom here and then you go through into the main bedroom which you can see um and yeah i i kind of was like have i got too much space here it doesn't feel as cluttered as some of my other builds but stream were like yeah no it's fine and i feel like for a bathroom it's kind of accurate isn't it you don't have like a fully cluttered bathroom so this is what i came up with i've used a shelf to kind of put some items on, make it look like a windowsill. We've got the bath on a diagonal. 
just so that I could get the plant in there really. Um, but it kind of works, kind of looks cute. And then this is another speed build that I did. This is, I called it an enchanted bedroom because I feel like it just gives me that whimsical feel. And as you can see, it's very pink and very green. If you didn't see that speed build, this is what came up, came, was the finished product I'm, I'm trying to say. Um, again, bookshelves need some items, but I'm kind of gonna protest now until we get more cluster items, my bookshelves are gonna be empty. Um, I have just realized the curtain has fallen down. There must be another glitch. Um, but yeah, this bed, I wanted to make a real statement piece out of it. Um, I don't know why the curtain's fallen down, but if you wanna see what it looked like with the curtain up, you can go and see the end of that video. Um, but yeah, we've got flowers, lights, kind of alarm clocks, lanterns, all of that good stuff to really make this bed feel like it is the focal point of the room. Um, and I love that. And the wallpaper here, this wallpaper was kind of the whole inspiration for the room. I just loved it and it just needed another color to go with it, which is why I chose the green. And there is a lot of green in this room, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we have the bed, wardrobe over here, a nice mirror, um, some other kind of items all around just to make it some bedroom related items, I guess. And of course, greenery, because we love greenery. Right, so that's the interior done. As I said, it's kind of like a mid-sized house. There's room to decorate. There is plenty of room to decorate, um, but I kind of guess you've got a feel of how this kind of layout flows now. There is one final thing to show you. Um, if you're a long-term member of the channel, then you may appreciate this, but this is my portaloo corner. <laughs> I've been hoarding the outhouses um, to create a portaloo corner. Um, and one day I will fill a whole plot. <laughs> so that's the final kind of corner of my island. My island? What is this? My plot. Um, you can tell I've been rambling too long now. Um, but yeah, that is my house. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope it provided some inspiration for you. As I say, this is definitely, definitely a work in progress. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna work more on it. Definitely, definitely gonna work some more, maybe work on the outside a bit more. Now that my interiors are nearly at a stage where I say that they're nearly kind of there, so yeah. But it's getting late now, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, um, and I shall see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye!